Next we're going to create this part called the slider and I can see that this part is 25 millimeters high and 25 millimeters wide. It's going to fit the groove that we made in the base and so it, it has a side angle of 76 degrees. It will be 50 millimeters long. So we're going to start a new part studio. I'm staying in the same document, my Do Nothing machine, but I'll go down here to the plus menu in the lower left corner, choose from the pop-up menu, create a new part studio, and this is going to be for the slider. I'll start a new sketch. This is going to be on the front sketch plane. Right click, view normal. Now I'll use a line tool and I'm just going to sketch this rough shape similar to how we did when we made the groove, the sketch for the groove. We'll right click and escape the line. Use my dimension tool. We know that this has a width of 25 and it has a height of 25 and we know that the side angle is going to be 76 degrees and we will set with an equal constraint both sides equal to 76 degrees. Now again I want to place this sketch on my origin so I'm going to right click and escape choose point go down here to this bottom line and when I see that midpoint box light up I'm going to click so I add a midpoint on that escape and now we will say coincident that midpoint to the origin and my sketch turns black showing me that I'm fully constrained I'm going to accept this I'll right click and choose isometric and we'll use our extrude command to create this. I want it to go in the opposite direction. Now I can either drag the arrow and pull or I can use my arrow button on the dialog box. We're creating a new part. This is going to have a depth of 50 millimeters and so we've created that. I'll accept it and there's our slider. Next we're going to create this hole that is centered on the top of our slider. I can see that it's 25 millimeters from the bottom edge and it is 12 and a half millimeters from the outside edge. This hole has a diameter of 8 millimeters and is 20 millimeters deep. To create this hole I'm going to start a new sketch on this top surface. I'll right click and view normal to my sketch plane. I'll use a center point circle for my sketch tools and here at the origin I know that the origin is in the middle. After I hover over the origin I can see this dotted yellow line projecting that center line. Now I'm going to go over here on this side and notice that I see a midpoint. This square box is showing me and I can see a projected line from there. So now I'm seeing two projected lines intersecting. This is the middle of my object. I'm going to click the mouse to start my hole. And now I've placed that hole at the center point of the object by using the projection lines. We said this had an 8 millimeter diameter and so I'll accept that. And you notice that it turns black because it has been snapped to that point. We'll accept this sketch I'm going to zoom out. You notice you can't be on top of the sketch planes to use the right click menu for isometric. Or you can hit P to turn the work planes off, the sketch planes. So now we will use an extrude. We will click on the circle. We'll mark it as remove material. This is going to be a blind removal, meaning that we're going to set the depth at 20 millimeters and we will accept that. 
so it doesn't go all the way through. If I want to see the result, I can go over to my view menu and turn this translucent so that I can see inside and there's the depth of my hole. Now that the part is finished, I'm going to go down to the tabs at the bottom of the screen and I find the part studio that we're currently working in. I'm going to right click, click on rename. This will be the slider, hit return, and now I have the base and the slider completed.